Republican women were among the biggest winners of Tuesday's balloting, breaking a record for House non incumbent victories and closing in on the all time high for the chamber. The 11 Republican women seeking another House term were all re elected, and another dozen candidates were elected for the first time to the House. Eleven additional House races featuring GOP women had yet to be called, according to the Center for American Women in Politics. The Center said that Republican women have already set a new record for non incumbent United States House winners, with 12 women elected in 2020 so far, surpassing the previous record of nine, set in 2010. According to the Center, as of now there are 11 undecided House races featuring a non incumbent Republican woman candidate and 17 undecided House races featuring a non incumbent Democratic woman candidate. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy said he expected the number of GOP women to break their previous record, which was 25 in the 2004 election, telling Politico it was the night of Republican women. Mr. McCarthy tweeted, The Republican Party is about to have more GOP women in Congress than in the entire history of the United States. Marjorie Dannenfelser, president of the Susan Anthony List, called it a resounding victory for pro life women everywhere. Most Republican women running for Congress are pro life, Ms. Dannenfelser said. The surge of victorious pro life women candidates in the United States House is a stunning blow to Nancy Pelosi and her pro abortion agenda. So far, we have more than doubled the number of pro life women in the House, with more races to be called. Seven pro life women candidates flipped pro abortion Democrat held seats. On the Senate side, former Republican Representative Cynthia Lummis won the Wyoming Senate contest to succeed retiring Senator Mike Enzi, while Senator Martha McSally, Arizona Republican, lost her race against Democrat Mark Kelly. That will keep the number of GOP women in the Senate at eight after Tuesday re election victories for Republican Senators Joni Ernst of Iowa, Shelley Moore Capito of West Virginia, and Cindy Hyde Smith of Mississippi. Senator Kelly Loeffler, Georgia Republican, finished in the top two in Tuesday's Senate primary and faces a January 5 runoff election against Democrat Raphael Warnock. Ms. Dannenfelser in a statement said, We are, All in, for Senator Kelly Loeffler's runoff race in January and confident she will prevail. She said seven of the newly elected pro life women flipped Democratic seats, including Republican Maria Salazar of Florida, who defeated Democratic Representative Donna Shalala after losing to her in 2018. The other 12 new House Republican candidates winning their races were Yvette Harrell of New Mexico, Michelle Fishbach of Minnesota, Nancy Mace of South Carolina. Stephanie Bice of Oklahoma, Ashley Hinson of Iowa, Lauren Boebert of Colorado, Lisa McLean of Michigan, Kat Kamek of Florida, Diana Harshbarger of Tennessee, Mary Miller of Illinois, and Marjorie Taylor Greene of Georgia. According to the Associated Press, another candidate, New York Republican Nicole Maliotokas, led Democratic Representative Max Rose by 58% to 42%. In still undecided House races, six of the eight Republican female candidates led their contests with all or most of the vote counted. They included Claudia Tenney, who lost her New York congressional seat in the 2018 Democratic wave but led Democratic Representative Anthony Brindisi by 55% to 43% with 100% of the vote counted, pending the counting of absentee ballots. The Center for American Women in Politics said 36 were in the House freshman class in 2019, which was a record. Only one was a Republican. The Center said, with 22 House wins so far, Republican women are poised to recover the ground they lost in 2018 and could break their record of 25 House members, set in 2006, if four more Republican women win their races. CAWP director Debbie Walsh said that successes like these don't just happen. She said, they require the dedicated attention of parties, donors, activists, and voters, as is particularly evident from the expanded number of Republican women candidates this year. It takes hard work, and the work continues.